All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you for taking time out of your day to check the video out. We have more PlayStation news, rumors, and leaks to go over and cover here today. We're starting with a new report coming from PlayStation Lifestyle. The title reads, PlayStation Studios' upcoming exclusive will be a dark game. Might target PS6. PlayStation Studios' Fire Sprite is making a dark, atmospheric console exclusive if new job ads are anything to go by. The developer has kept its upcoming game tightly under wraps, but we know that it's going full steam ahead with a horror game, and this one will be marked safe from Sony's live service push. As spotted by the gamer, at least six new job listings have appeared on Fire Sprite's website and LinkedIn over the past day or two, revealing that its AAA game will have a, quote, heavy focus on art, animation, and delivering unique character performances to heighten player presence and immerse immersion to new levels, end quote. One of the job descriptions mentions that the game will be photorealistic and will feature AAA quality creatures. Sounds like a horror project. Apparently, the mystery game is one of Fire Sprite's most ambitious projects yet, with the studio promising to take atmosphere, storytelling, player agency, and narrative firmly into groundbreaking territory on next-generation hardware technologies. The next-gen part here makes us wonder if the game may also be targeting the PlayStation 6. Furthermore, the job ads pledge a, quote, compelling cinematic experience, end quote, with sound design so grand that it may, quote, push the boundaries of what is possible in the world of audio, end quote. And so, yeah, we are once again getting more insight into a more recently acquired studio from PlayStation, that being Fire Sprite. We haven't really seen much from the studio. We did get Horizon Call of the Mountain from them for PSVR 2, but other than that, Everything else has been shrouded in mystery. We have known for some time now that this studio is working on a horror game, but it is very interesting to read that they might be targeting the PlayStation 6. Now, if this is the case, I would expect this would end up being maybe a cross-gen game, and it also means it's much further out than we originally anticipated. This does sound like this is the studio's first time trying to make a project of this size, scale, and scope, but it also sounds like they really are trying to take things as far as they can go, right? They're putting a heavy focus on quality. They're talking about um, the immersion, the cinematic experience, and a big focus on audio, apparently. Now, it's worth noting there has been some speculation that they could be working on a sequel to Until Dawn. We know that Until Dawn is getting a remake that is scheduled to come out at the end of this year we also know that until dawn is getting a movie adaptation so it seems like sony is really putting a lot into the until dawn um ip and so you know the idea that the studio could be potentially making a sequel knowing that they are making a horror game it's not you know too far-fetched but we're gonna have to remain patient i know that a lot of people want to see these games announced I do too, but for now, this is where we are currently getting our information, so let me know what you think about this Fire Sprite title. Moving on to the next topic, we have some very good news for PlayStation VR 2 being reported from PlayStation Lifestyle. PSVR 2 sales have apparently skyrocketed after the week's steep price cut. Sony is offering prospective buyers a $200 discount on both the PSVR 2 Core and Horizon Call of the Mountain bundles. The headset is already sold out at a number of online stores and retailers. The folks over at The Shortcut have managed to get their hands on exclusive retailer data in the US and report that PSVR 2 sales saw a massive uptick of 2,350% over a 24-hour period after the discount went live. Many have theorized that PSVR 2's slow adoption rate was down to the headset's heavy price tag, as well as a lack of compelling games in its library. It certainly doesn't help that PSVR 2 isn't backwards compatible with the original PSVR. Sony has resolved at least two of those problems for the time being. Albeit temporary, the price cut has worked. And with upcoming PC support scheduled to go live in August, the issue of PSVR 2's limited library will also be addressed. 
So this is something that I guess is to be expected, right? When you see Sony come out and say, hey, we are slashing the price of PlayStation VR 2 by $200. Yeah, I could see that driving a lot of people who were interested in PSVR 2, but maybe were waiting for something like this to happen or waiting for a price cut. Yeah, this is very much going to appeal to them. And it's very telling that the headset is actually selling out and that, you know, People are basically buying the headset in droves. Um, it tells you that maybe the price really was the problem here for this headset. Maybe it wasn't even a lack of interest. It just was simply, listen, this headset is more expensive than the actual console required to use it. So maybe for now, I'm going to pass on it. It does make you wonder how long Sony is going to keep PSVR 2 at this price and if they would actually maybe consider keeping it at this price for um, an extended period of time to just move units and uh, you know get people invested but at the same time we do have to keep in mind the reason why this headset was being sold for as much as it was was because Sony was trying to break even or make a profit on every PSVR 2 headset they sold so you know, with that in mind, I would assume for now that this is just going to be temporary. But either way, it's good to see that more people are picking up PSVR 2. But we are moving on to the next topic here, which is talking about yet another update for Helldivers 2. Of course, we know that the big Helldivers 2 update, Escalation of Freedom, is set to release on August 9th. But the day before, on August 8th, they are also going to be releasing a new War Bond. This new war bond is going to be focused on fire. It's called Freedom's Flame. You're going to be getting a new primary weapon called the SG-451 Cookout. It's basically a pump action shotgun that fires incendiary rounds. Uh, you're also going to be getting the FLAM-66 Torture. It's a lightweight flamethrower shooting pressurized fuel through a nozzle into a roaring open flame. Um, so, yeah. Uh, on top of that, we're looking at secondary weapons, the P-72 CRISPR, a flamethrower that fits in your pocket uh, for the Helldiver on the go. Uh, so your flamethrower sidearm, I guess. And then you're going to be getting a new booster, a fiery drop firebomb hell pods, a uh, scorched earth and anything else below as you touch down uh, with attitude and ignite. Uh, the drop site there's also going to be two new armor sets one new title and one new skin uh, there's going to be new capes and new cards new emotes so pretty much the whole package here you know what to expect with a new war bond if you've been keeping up with helldivers 2 and grinding out these war bonds but there you go even more content dropping for helldivers 2 as we approach the big update uh, I've been playing Helldivers 2 again recently, really enjoying it, looking forward to this content. Let me know if you've been playing it. Moving on to the next topic, we have a update for the PlayStation app that makes tracking trophies easier. Coming from PlayStation Lifestyle, it says a nifty little PS app update has made tracking PS5 and PS4 trophies easier. The update comes with useful shortcuts for the game users are playing at the time. Uh, on their paired console and essentially eliminates the need to temporarily exit the game screen in order to check trophy progress. Opening the PS app anytime during gameplay will bring up shortcuts for activities like game tips and trophies. Players can view their trophies as they play, so those who are in the midst of a trophy hunt need not exit the game screen on their console or go to a third-party website. If you're playing a multiplayer game, there's also a new shortcut to accept multiplayer invites if your app is open. Uh, and so that's worth mentioning as well. But yeah, just wanted to kind of throw this out there. I know a lot of you guys are trophy hunters like me. And so something like this actually sounds very useful. Um, and so let me know if it's something you're planning on using. Moving on to the next topic, a PlayStation Plus premium game has seemingly been leaked by Sony themselves. Sony has seemingly leaked a future PlayStation Plus premium game in an email advertising the subservice. The email details the July games catalog update with titles like Remnant 2 and Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion and lists PS Plus premium games like Secret Agent Clank. The catch is that Secret Agent Clank isn't available on PlayStation Plus yet. Sony has yet to confirm whether Secret Agent Clank will be added to PS Plus. Many will be hoping that the game is going to be added to the service as part of next month's new games that are due to arrive on August 20th. So, 
yeah, it seems that Sony may have accidentally uh, revealed this a little too soon. I know a lot of people at this point in time are, you know, who are subscribed to PlayStation Plus Premium, they're always looking out for, you know, what is the next batch of PlayStation Classics going to be. And so uh, Secret Agent Clank is apparently the next one, unless this was just some huge mistake where somebody really did something wrong here and this is actually not going to happen, but it seems very much like it is. Moving on to the final topic here, a PlayStation Classic gets trophy support. This is something that we've been seeing more of lately. Um, kind of these, you know, PS Classic games getting updates where they are getting trophies added to them, adding incentive for people to go back and play them. Sony is continuing its efforts to retroactively add trophies to PS Plus Premium Classics, giving subscribers a reason to jump back in for that platinum. This time, it's PSP Classic Thrillville, on PS5 and PS4 versions, they both received a trophy patch. So, yeah, this is awesome to see. I've been kind of highlighting this, that Sony is seemingly putting much more effort into going back and adding trophies to these uh, PlayStation classics. I think it's a very good idea because, I mean, if you're somebody who is heavily invested in the PlayStation ecosystem, there's a decent chance you do some trophy hunting. And this could be the difference maker for some people out there where, oh, if this classic game has trophies that I can earn and, and certainly a platinum, maybe I'll go play it just for that reason. Um, again, it's just added incentive. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the videos more than you know. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.